Brexit was a divider. Uh, Brexit's been done. We now need to look not just at you know, the, the final peace Northern Ireland protocol, but we need to look at the Brexit opportunities. And not enough has been said or done about those in the last two or three years. And yes, he was a Remainer and he makes an apology for that. But he also makes very clear that on 100 occasions, he actually supported the, the Brexit concept. It's not as if he was absolutely wedded um, to Remain. And he sees, as I think so many people who voted uh, Remain see, that the way forward absolutely is the way we voted. It's Brexit. There is a huge opportunity. We've just got to get out there and we've got to deliver it. So I, I don't have any concerns that he's not going to, you know, do what he says. I'm absolutely convinced he will follow through on Brexit and make sure those opportunities live. Yeah, Anne-Marie Morris, so I've got Emma Webb as my studio guest today. She's, she's shaking her head with some vigour uh, when I talk up Tom Tugendhat. Uh, Emma, your point. Uh, I don't have any complaints about Tom Tugendhat as an MP, and I think particularly on issues to do with foreign policy, I'm you know, very uh, so, sort of supportive of him. One of the concerns that's been raised, and I think this is a valid one, is the lack of ministerial experience. And I think whilst there's obviously the fact that he was in the military, proven uh, patriot, uh, and that with that comes some uh, leadership experience, proven leadership experience, I think many people will be firstly concerned um, about the lack of ministerial experience. And then there is, uh, in, the, in the long term, we need to be thinking about the Conservative Party being able to beat Labour at the next general election. We need to think about what happened in those by-elections. And in, in order to unite the party um, both in the South and in the North, I think you need a figure like Kemi Badenoch, also Ella Braverman, but particularly Kemi Badenoch. And I'm not sure that Tom Tugendhat um, has the ability to unite the party in that way and to win those votes at the ballot box. OK. Anne-Marie Morris, what do you say to that? I say that uh, the lack of ministerial time served has never been a barrier to somebody with real leadership skills. You've only got to look at our very own President Zelensky. Who would have thought a comedian would suddenly have turned out to be such a success story? I don't think you have to have trodden the, trodden the floorboards. I think you have to have, you've got the innate skill or you don't. And I think... Uh, Tom's got it in spades. As to the North, I mean, you will, you'll be well aware now that uh, Jake Berry has uh, signed up to, to Tom, and there's no way he'd have done that if he didn't think that uh, Tom could unite us. Uh, you know, North, South, you know, Brexit remain. Tom is a unifier, and Tom listens, and Tom will get this done. He's somebody who's just bright and young. He will appeal to the younger generation. He'll appeal to all those people so cynical of politicians. You know, this is a guy who you can actually see... Uh, Real man, real man. And uh, I think uh, he's, he's the guy that we need to put our faith in.